What's up, Madden 25 gamers? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at another blitz of the day, and I believe that the playbook we're in today is, I'm pretty sure, let me see here, uh, let's see where we're at here. We're in the 3-4, I think this is the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook, um, and the blitz that we're going to be taking a look at today comes from the sub-236 Will, and um, the play that we're going to be looking at today is the DB Fire 2. Uh, I think the last time we looked at this formation, we looked at the Mike Edge 1. Uh, so today we'll be looking at the DB Fire 2 as far as pressure goes. And uh, we're in the pistol playbook offensively, but that really doesn't mean anything for you guys today. Uh, we're going to be talking about the pistol over the course of the next couple of weeks. So uh, just get ready for that. I'm going to talk about, uh, in the sim tip of the week this week, I'm going to talk about the origination of the pistol. And... Uh, so, anyways, just get ready for pistol week. <laughs> um, but what we want to do with this blitz, we just want to come out we want to base a line. And if you want to come off the right, you're going to shift your defensive line to the right. If you want it to come off the left, you're going to shift your defensive line to the left. So, here we'll show you left first, shift the D-line to the left. And then you're going to crash them out. And then the snap at the ball, um, we're going to get that right edge pressure. Fortunately, it didn't come in there. Hopefully, we didn't. Hopefully, there's some reason... Actually, it's in the 236. See here. Yeah, I think you can only shift them to the left. Two steps. Yeah, you can only shift them to the left. I apologize for that. Um, and the reason is because of the split of the defensive line. And then you're going to. So, let me rephrase that. You're going to base the line, you're going to press so that these uh, blitz angles get down. And if you want to, you can slide them in, of course. This can be found in the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. Um, you're going to shift your defensive line to the left, and you're going to crash your defensive line to the left. And now you're going to see they get picked up again for some reason. We might have to re-blitz the back or two. Let's try that. And this is how we find blitzes. We go into practice mode and we work on this for a couple of minutes. And Yeah, that's what it was. So I was kind of right, but at the same time I was kind of wrong. Now these are all global setups. You're not going to have to manually click on anybody. So here's what we got. Uh, we're going to baseline and press. You're going to shift your defensive line to the left, you're going to crash your defensive line to the left, and you're going to globally re-blitz the left outside linebacker on the screen here, which would be Shervathan on the Denver Broncos, and at the snap of the ball, you're going to get pressure off the left edge. Uh, you also have to slide the guy in, so that's just one drawback, is you kind of have to manually slide them in, but when you're cycling through your players, it's no big deal. And there you see the pressure coming off the left edge. Now, obviously, this could be picked up with a blocking halfback. So here I'm going to block Frank Gore. And you see we're going to get picked up there. But you have decent coverage. And if the quarterback makes a bad read, you can easily, you know, you can easily get beat. Now, uh, again, baseline press, shift your D-line to the left, crash your D-line to the left, and then I like to shift my linebackers to the right for other blitzes in the scheme. But you don't have to do that. That's just something I prefer to do. And there you see the pressure can come in off the left. Now if you want to send it off the right out of the same look, baseline press, shift your D-line to the left, crash your D-line to the left, shift your linebackers to the right, globally re-blitz the right of screen outside linebacker, and then you can put Harris in any zone you want. And now we're basically creating the same concept. We're just on the other side of the field. And so you see we're going to get the pressure off the right edge. So um, that's a, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about the right edge pressure tomorrow. Um, but once again, this playbook or this play can be found in the, I believe we are in the Pittsburgh Steelers defensive playbook. And remember, real quick before we get out of here, baseline press, shift your D-line to the left, crash your D-line to the left. Um, globally blitz that left outside linebacker straight down and then slide Harrison now I mean it sounds like a lot but you can do it pretty quick because they're global so real quick I'm going to run through them real quick and without talking just kind of hear how fast I can set this up and I'm set up and then ready to go and I'm free to make other adjustments on the play so it's not too bad once you guys get a handle on the controls and stuff um, Again, guys, this is a pretty simple pressure concept we like to use out of the 236 will. Um, be sure to add this to your playbook, guys. I know that, you know, if you're in a 3-4 book, I know some of you guys have been asking about 3-4 pressure. 
Um, this is certainly another opportunity for you to get easy pressure out of a 3-4 playbook. It's just a basic overload, overload concept, so be sure to add this to your scheme today to get you better acquainted for some blitzes out of the 2-3-6 if you have this formation in your book. It's not. This is definitely not a formation you want to change your playbook up for, but if it's already in your book, might as well know how to use it. So this is a basic left edge pressure out of the 2-3-6 will, and tomorrow we'll be taking a look at a basic right edge pressure uh, out of the same look. So thanks for watching today, guys. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video and you're not already subscribed. And then if you are subscribed, be sure to show your uh, show me some support by sharing this video on Twitter or liking the video on YouTube. Uh, both of those avenues can really help me out. Uh, Blitz of the day, guys. It's, it's a series, and we're going to start getting into some more advanced blitzes as the time goes on because we're starting to run out of easy blitzes in the game uh, to break down. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.